Hi all, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going through what is a capacitor, how it works, different types and some basics. First of all, what is a capacitor? A capacitor is a passive component which is capable of store electric charge on the plates when connected to a voltage source. Capacitors are one of the very useful component in electronic circuits. And that's why we find it in every circuit boards. If you are looking to its basic form, a capacitor consists of two or more parallel conductive plates which are not connected or touching each other. But it is electrically separated by air or some form of good uh, insulating materials. For example, it's like mica, paper, ceramic, etc. The insulating layer between a capacitor plate is commonly called as dielectric. So dielectric is a common term when we are discussing about capacitor. Capacitance of a capacitor. Capacitance is the electrical property of a capacitor and it is the measure of capacitor's ability to store an electric charge onto its two plates. Uh, the unit of capacitance is farad. You can see three symbols here. For fixed type capacitors, we use the first symbol. Some capacitors have polarity. So in that cases, we use the second one. If it's a variable type, that means the capacitance value can be changed. That will be denoted like the last one. Later, we discuss all this. In the case of capacitance, when we are talking about uh, capacitance, it's always a positive in value and it have no negative units. However, the farad is a very large unit of measurement to use. So submultiples of the farads are generally used such as microfarad, nanofarad, picofarad, etc. So the standard units of capacitance is uh, micro, nano and pico. So 1 microfarad equal to 10 raised to minus 6 farad, 1 nanofarad equal to 10 raised to minus 9 farad and 1 picofarad means 10 raised to minus 12 farad. With the help of this table we can easily convert between pico to nano, nano to micro and micro to farads. Next we are moving to capacitors classification. As we seen in our resistor classification Capacitors are also classified as a fixed type and variable type. Firstly, I am going to talking about fixed type of capacitors. Uh, fixed type capacitors are those the capacitors value cannot be changed or in other words, uh, the capacitors with fixed values. In there also some other classification according to the dielectric material which used to manufacture that capacitor. For example, uh, paper, mica, ceramic, polyester, electrolytic, etc. First, we are going to discuss about paper capacitor. As the name suggests, paper capacitor uses paper as the dielectric to store the electric charge. If we are looking to the construction part, it consists of an aluminum sheet and paper sheets. The paper placed between the aluminum sheet act as a dielectric and the aluminum sheet act as an electrode. We all know that the paper sheet is a poor conductor of electricity. So it does not allow the flow of electric current between the aluminum sheet. Therefore, the paper sheet placed between the aluminum sheet acts as a barrier of the electric current. Mainly paper capacitors are used in the high voltage and current applications. The main disadvantage of the type of capacitors are it easily absorbs moisture from the air and that may cause change in their uh, insulation capability. So this is one of the disadvantages of the paper capacitor. Next is mica capacitors. These are more stable, reliable and high precision ones. Uh, these are available from low to high voltages. Main advantage of the mica capacitors are it can work efficiently at high frequencies. The reason to choose the mica as dielectric in mica capacitor is they have a very low absorption factor. So it makes an excellent dielectric for many applications. In the construction part, the capacitor consists of two plates and it is separated by mica as an dielectric. The thinner the insulator, the higher the capacitance. More stable the insulator with temperature and humidity, the more stable the capacitor. Mica performs well in areas that can make it very high performance capacitors. Mainly these types of capacitors are used in coupling circuits, resonance circuits, and it is also ideal for high frequency and radio frequency applications and many more. When compared to the other type of capacitors, these types are little bit higher in cost. Next one is ceramic capacitor. One of the most widely used capacitor type is ceramic. It is also known as disc capacitors. Uh, these capacitors gain its name from that it uses a ceramic as dielectric. So we call it as a ceramic capacitors and also it's shaped like disc. 
so we called it as uh, disk capacitor 2 these capacitors are made by taking a small ceramic or porcelain disc and coating both sides with the silver before stacking them together. Single ceramic discs of around 3 to 6 mm are used when low capacitance value is needed. The main advantage of ceramic capacitors are high capacitance and can be achieved from a smaller sized capacitor. The ceramic capacitors have values ranging from a few picofarads to 1 or 2 microfarads. But their voltage ratings are generally quite low. Generally, a three-digit code is printed on their body to identify them. Capacitance values in picofarads. First two digits indicates the capacitor's value and the third digit indicates the number of zeros to be added. For example, I am taking this capacitor and it's marked as 103. That means 10 and 3 zeros. That's 10,000. Its capacitance is 10,000 picofarad. Or we can convert it into nanofarad and we get 10 nanofarad. So in this way, we find ceramic capacitors, capacitance value. If you are looking to its advantages point, these ones have high stability, low losses, high capacitance and small in size. Uh, some of its applications are uh, antenna coupling, automatic volume control filtering, resonance circuits, etc. And the next one is film type capacitors. Before we are moving forward to discuss more about film type of capacitors, uh, we need to understand the meaning behind the popular uh, terms like film capacitor, polyester capacitor, Mylar capacitor and polypropylene capacitors. These all are film type capacitors. Basically, these all are film type capacitors. The difference being in their dielectric properties. In the case of polycarbonate and polyester capacitor, they have a moderate level of loss, which can increase with frequency and also have a very high insulation resistance. Uh, when we look at a polystyrene capacitor, it tends to be very low loss, but it's a bulky one. The construction part is almost similar to the paper capacitor. Here we used polystyrene material instead of paper. The main advantage of these types of capacitors are they operate very well under conditions of high temperature, have small tolerances and a very long life and high reliability. Mainly polyester capacitors are widely used in audio applications such as ham radio for noise filtering and radio frequency coupling. Next one and the most important one in fixer type of capacitors are electrolytic capacitor. Electrolytic capacitors uses electrolyte to achieve a larger capacitance than other capacitor types. What is an electrolyte? Electrolyte is a liquid or gel containing high concentration of ions. Aluminum electrolytic capacitors have been in use for many years. So we can see them in almost all circuits. It's a regular component in many circuit designs. The major difference in compare with the types of resistors we learned earlier. Electrolytic capacitors are polarized. Polarization means the voltage on the positive terminal must always be greater than the voltage on the negative terminal. Because of that, uh, if we use electrolytic capacitor in a circuit, we need to connect it accordingly. In most of the electrolytic capacitors, the negative leg is marked as negative symbol on the body cover. So we can see that when we inspect an electrolytic capacitor. According to the dielectric material is used, it's named as Aluminum electrolytic capacitor, tantalum electrolytic capacitor, niobium electrolytic capacitor and so on. If you look into the construction part, uh, these types of capacitor is constructed using two thin film of aluminum foils uh, and a paper spacer socket in an electrolyte. One of the two aluminum foils is covered with an oxide layer and that foil acts as an anode, while the uncoated part acts as cathode. The main advantage of the electrolytic capacitors are they have a large capacitance than most other capacitor types. Typically, it ranges from 1 microfarad to 47 millifarads. Uh, the capacitance is determined by several factors, uh, such as the plate area, the thickness of the electrolyte. This means that a large capacitance value, if we seen in a capacitor, those capacitors are in bulky. Uh, in other words, we can say that it's in large in size. Markings on the capacitors provide information about the capacitance value, uh, its voltage and polarity. Usually a negative symbol is marked on the side. Uh, that leg will be the negative or it will be the cathode. Uh, electrolytic capacitors are used in many areas uh, such as filters, time constant circuits, etc. These types are widely used because of their low cost and their small size. Uh, but in some cases these type capacitors get damaged quickly. I will tell you some points which makes this uh, capacitors damaged quickly. Uh, number one is a voltage. The excess voltage may cause some leak in the capacitor and that may result to short circuits. The second point is the reverse polarity. The reverse voltage will cause the self-destruction of the oxide layer and that leads to the failure of the capacitor. And the third point is the over temperature. Excess heat dries out the electrolyte and shortens the life. 
uh, when we compare to the other capacitors electrolytic have a, a short life span uh, that's one of the disadvantages of the electrolytic type capacitors uh, next we are moving to variable type of capacitors first one is air gan capacitor uh, whenever the capacitance need to be varied we use variable type of capacitors uh, mainly used in resonant circuits such as radio tuners frequency mixers or antenna impedance matching applications first we are going to see air gan capacitor air gan capacitors are capacitors which use air as their dielectric uh, the simplest air gan capacitor is made up of uh, two conductive plates separated by an air gap air gan capacitors are used more often because of their simple construction uh, they are usually made up of two sets of semi circular metal plates separated by air gaps uh, one set is fixed and the other one is attached to the shaft which allows the user to rotate the assembly you can see that in this figure Uh, therefore changing the capacitance as needed uh, the larger the overlap between the two sets of plates the higher the capacitance uh, the maximum capacitance state is achieved when the overlap between the two uh, sets of plates is highest when the lowest capacitance uh, state is achieved when there is no overlap and the next variable type of uh, capacitor is a trimmer capacitor uh, this is also a variable capacitor which serves the purpose of initial calibration of equipment during manufacturing or servicing just like that uh, what we seen in preset on variable resistor category uh, they are not intended to for the end user interaction trimmer capacitors are almost always mounted directly on the pcb uh, pcb means a printed circuit board uh, so the a uh, user does not have access to them and those the values are set during the manufacturing using a small screw driver or something like that uh, due to their nature trimmer capacitors are cheaper than full sized variable capacitors uh, trimmer capacitors are used to initially set oscillator frequency values latencies rise and fall times and other variables in the circuits uh, should the values drift over time this uh, trimmer capacitors allow repairman to recalibrate equipment uh, when they needed so that all from uh, coming in uh, the service part uh, there are two types of trimmer capacitors based on the dielectric used in it uh, the dielectric used could be air or ceramic uh, the trimmer capacitors can be made of semi circular metal plates on of the plate which is fixed uh, when the other one is rotated using the screw driver you can see that in this figure the capacitance changes when the shaft is rotated thereby increasing or reducing the amount of overlap between the uh, plates Uh, to improve the precision of the capacitance value simple gear mechanisms can be used to allow multiple turns between the lower and higher settings the value of the trimmer capacitor is less than 100 picofarads uh, trimmer capacitors are commonly used in various radio frequency very high frequency and microwave frequency band circuits so these are the two types of uh, variable type of capacitors so this is all about the capacitor so we covered uh, what is a capacitor it's ca what is capacitance and some other basics then we going through fixed type of capacitors and then now uh, we discussed about uh, variable type of capacitors so uh, hope you understand what i said in this video uh, stay subscribed and stay tuned for more videos thank you